أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم رسلا مبشرين ومنذرين لألا يكون للناس على الله حجة بعد الرسل وكان الله عزيزا حكيما رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي فالحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين ثم ما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Today's brief reminder is pretty serious Allah Azza wa Jal tells us in the 165th ayah of Surah An-Nisa something that's very powerful He talks about messengers رسول المبشرين ومنذرين <coughs> Messengers that were there to give good news and their role was also to warn Obviously we know that's what they did but then Allah tells us, why did He send them? لِأَلَّا يَكُونَ لِلنَّاسِ عَلَى اللَّهِ حُجَّةً So that there may not be for in the favor of people and against Allah any case left, any argument left. In other words, the purpose of sending messengers is humanity would run out of excuses to turn to Allah. That is the reason to send messengers. <laughs> it's heavy, man. It's like Allah is saying that now that Rasulullah the final messenger has been sent, Humanity no longer has an excuse. That is it. This is it. And you know what that means for Muslims? That means if someone's on this planet and they don't know Muhammad or Rasulullah وسلم, who he really is, not who he is demonized to be by some who hate him, not what he is in the media by, by others who don't even know who he really is, but who he really is, if they don't know him, it's on our necks. Because we are carriers of the mission of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, but now humanity has no choice. Humanity does not have an excuse anymore. This is why messengers were sent. And if messengers were sent to their nation, then their job was to make sure everyone in their nation heard the message. And if the messenger was sent, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, for all people, for all nations, and he didn't reach all people. He never spoke to the people in China, he never spoke to the people in India, he never spoke to the people in Europe. His mission was limited to the Arabian Peninsula and just a little bit, just some communications to outside nations via letters. That's it. Then you know what? That responsibility, because he is still the messenger for all of humanity, which is why Allah preserved his message till the Day of Judgment. He preserved this Qur'an the way he did. Well, he preserved it this way so that you and I could be the messengers of the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Humanity should have no excuse. This was the reason Allah Azza wa Jal chose messengers. And in this ayah, it is Allah directly connecting us to the mission of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It's very, very heavy ayah. And so I want you to think of us, the Muslims, as people in between the messengers and the rest of humanity. On the day of judgment, Allah will ask His messenger, did you deliver the message? And he will say yes. Then on the day of judgment, Allah will ask the people, did you receive the message? And they might say no. Well, who's in between? We are. And then Allah will turn to us, the Muslims, and say, did you carry the message of your messenger? And we turn to him and say, well, we were kind of busy. We didn't really have that much time. Or we did preach in word, but our character had nothing to show for it. That's the test. Of, we're going to be sandwiched. And on the one hand, Rasul will say, I did my job. They're responsible. And on the other hand, humanity will say, we never got the message. These people, you wanted us to follow them? Have you ever seen what Muslims act like? Because we know what they act like. We know what they do business like. Why would we ever want to be Muslims like them? If they make that case against us, and the Rasul is absolved of his duty, then where does that put us? We're being sandwiched from both sides. You know, لِتَكُونُوا شُهَدَاءَ عَلَى النَّاسِ وَيَكُونَ الرَّسُولُ عَلَيْكُمْ شَهِيدًا This is the shahada عَلَى النَّاسِ concept. The messenger will be a witness against you if you don't do your job. And you, you're supposed to be a witness against people. You're supposed to be able to say that we delivered the message to the people. People knew what Islam was, even if we didn't open our mouth, they knew what Islam was just because they knew the character and the ethics and the difference of, you know, the moral code of the Muslims just by being in the proximity of Muslims. That's just by that. And if they don't know, then we're on the hook. We are on the hook. Allah says so that people would have no excuse left. After messengers came, وَكَانَ اللَّهُ عَزِيزًا حكيما. And Allah, Allah is the ultimate authority. Allah has always been the ultimate authority. Allah has always been full of wisdom. Allah's wisdom was the messengers are enough. So when today people say, well, I don't have enough of a compelling reason to consider religion. The fault lies partly on them and partly on the Muslims who haven't done their job. That is something for us to really seriously think about. 
if we don't become carriers of this message. I'm not saying all of us go out and become preachers. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying if we don't at least represent the, the enlightened character of Islam in our daily life, we don't even know the first thing about our book. So when people, you know, nowadays you don't even have to go give da'wah to people. People come and ask you, so you're Muslim? You pray? Well, how do you guys pray? What do you do? I just had some work done in my house and the guy who was painting said, what is this painting? I said, well, it's a prayer. And we just started talking about the prayer. I didn't do da'wah to him. He asked me to do da'wah to him. You see what I'm saying? We have to, the opportunity is now there. We just have to step up to the plate. So I pray that we're able to step up to this plate because if humanity doesn't have an excuse, then for sure by extension, you and I, the people who say La ilaha illallah, the people who say Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa they certainly don't have an excuse. Final note on this, Rusulan Mubashirina wa Mundirina. So beautiful. Allah sent all messengers and He described their method. They give good news and they give warning. What did He mention first? They give good news. We have to be bearers of good news. We don't go around telling people they're going to hell. We don't go around telling people they're doomed. That's not how you give the message of Islam. It's a message of hope. It's a message of optimism. And today, if the Muslims themselves have no optimism, they're not full of hope. A lot of Muslims I've talked to, they actually believe they're going to hell. They're not good enough for Jannah. Jannah is for really, really, really good people. That's not us. We're not making it there. If you don't even believe that yourself, how are you going to give it to anybody else? How in the world are you going to give it to anybody else? Messengers came to spread good news. First of all, internalize the good news for yourself so that you can share it with others. Barakallahu li wa lakum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.